name is Kayu Habibi. And good afternoon, Mr. Ham. Hello. And Dr. Brian. Hi. Hi, Mr. Kayu. Thank you so much to both of you that can spare some time to discuss my problem. So I, uh, I clarified my problem is my employee uh, recently informed me that I need to travel back to Syria where it is my motherland to continue my work. After that, I found out I already registered for a course which is the Malay language in this semester. And I hope I can continue the lecture, but I need to be there. Is it possible to make it happen? Okay, so Mr. Kayu, I'm afraid that I have to abide by the rules of the university and I cannot let you continue the class if you are going to skip for two weeks. Here, I'll let you see the as per our rules. Okay, sure. Okay, hold on for a second. Okay, as you can see here in our yeah. attendance 1.4 students who attend less than 80 percent of total scheduled contact hours of a course in the semester without any reason acceptable to the university are not allowed to attempt subsequent forms of scheduled face-to-face -face learning activities and sit for any form of assessment as i'm aware you are going to skip for the first two weeks am i right yeah Correct. So that will have accounted for less than 80% of the total scheduled contact hours. And I'm afraid I cannot help you with that because uh, going back to the hometown is not an acceptable acceptable reason by the university. And beside Mr. Kayu, and according to yes. the course outline, wait, let me... Okay, this is our course outline. Okay, as you can see, under the section number 3, 3.1, learning and teaching activity, all classes should be done face-to-face -face and in physical form. I see. So, so as a result, is it possible I could attend a class under no an online session because I don't want to extend my semester due to this situation. The first two classes are important as it's an introduction to you all student and all students should get to know each other well. Um Mr. Kayu, how about I suggest you take this semester? Take this subject on the next semester. Yes, I agree with Dr. Brian here. I think that Mr. Kayu should consider taking this subject the next semester. But then I still have to pay the fees. Um, I do not want to pay for nothing and fail, this, fail the, these courses as well. I understand, Mr. Kayu. May I know what is your work about? And I hope that you can provide me some evidence of your work. Um, maybe I present uh, you the email first that sent from my my company. Uh, just a second. Can you see it right now? No. No, not yet. <clears throat> okay. Right now? Yes. Okay. okay. So from this uh, yep. email, this is from my president of Pet Petrol Syria. So currently I'm working for my company, Petrol Syria, which is under contract. I'm asked to continue my PhD program in this university, which is uh, University Technology Malaysia. And now my, con my company requests me to return for two weeks to settle some work. If I do not return, I do not get 
to continue this program as it is fully sponsored by the company and this is this is as written in our agreement as well so you can see in the email uh, it requests me to go back from 2nd of june until 13th of june so uh is currently it's 22 may so i afraid i need to go back as well because i also booked up my flight ticket so which is first of june i will be going back to my country and then until 14th of june i uh, can able to come back to to malaysia I see, I see. Yeah. However, Mr. Bayou, if you don't attend the first two classes, it will be unfair to the other students as I have to follow the course outline and I have already assigned several tasks to the whole class. And these tasks are not suitable to be conducted online. Wait, let me show you my course outline, which is here. can see the first week will be introduction we'll, okay. we will do a group video introduction where you have to form a group and on second week we will learn about alphabet where you will just give you one like a small quiz but the important is the group video and this quiz are all conducted in physical form so it's like it's hard for you and for us to conduct these classes in on through online I see. So, Doctor, uh, I have a suggestion. Can we try? Can we try to do extra class when I return? We can review those tasks again, and this way I can be involved too. Under normal circumstances, Mister Kayu, this is not allowed by the university. For this issue, I have to refer to Mister Ham. Okay. So let me clarify. According to the guideline as stated by the university, lecturers are not advised to have more than 10 hours of lecture in a week. I can show you right now of our guidelines. Sure. Okay, as you can see here in Article 15 about lectures, all lectures are not allowed to have more than 10 hours of classes in a week. So as a member of the administration, I have to abide by the school rules. However, I have checked Dr. Brian's schedule and it seems that uh, if he is doing extra classes, it will mean that he would have exceeded 10 hours. If Dr. Brian chooses to extend his class, he must seek, he must seek permission from his class and also from the head of department of the faculty. Moreover, I think... Mr. Kayu, can you provide me the details of the contract so that I can discuss with my boss to see whether if whether I can help for the fee wa waiver for you this semester? I think that would help you a lot. So I suggest that you can take this course during the short semester in in the coming month. Is that okay with you, Mr. Kayu? Mm, first of all, for the contract, yeah, just now I already show you, I can send it to you later. But the thing is, I insist to complete the course this semester. During the short semester, I have to return to my company and continue my work. So, Dr. Brian, can you go ahead with the extra classes? I'm willing to help doctor in starting a group chat, like uh, to ask the class, class member. I think for me, I, I am able to do classes, but right now I currently don't have the context of other students. As this is the start of semester, I'm pretty busy and the other courses too, and I have several projects and also some FYP students. So it's unlikely for me to handle this group chat at the moment. Oh, uh, Dr. Brian, do, please do not worry. I can look, help you look for the context of the students as registered initially. Perhaps I can pass it to you once I finish compiling it. Would that be helpful? Yep, that would be helpful. 
Uh, maybe I just doctor, I can help you start a uh, group chat with the information since doctor is very busy. From there, we can discuss with the student whether they can, they are okay with the extra classes or not. Is that sound okay to you, Dr. Brian? Yep, sure. Thanks, Mr. Caillou. You're very kind. Mm, I can help discuss with the head of department about extending my lecture hours. However, I also need some proofs for your work and also your flight ticket because since I have to present it to the HOT as well. Yes, uh, sure. I think I need that information too. It is important for me to keep all these records as per our SOP. Okay. Sorry, can you repeat? I will email the information. Sure, uh, understand. Uh, I will email the information to Dr. Brian and CC to you, uh, Mr. Hemp. All right, thank you. Thank you. However, Mr. Caillou, uh, there's another problem about the class. Since first week, there's the first the task for first week, which requires students to form a group and also do a video presentation. If you return to your country, I'm afraid you cannot carry the task with your group and also you cannot find other group members as well. It's unfair if I assign to just any other group and you are unable to participate. The due date will be on the second week of this semester. Well, is it possible to change the group video presentation to a later date? I'm afraid not, uh, Mr. Caillou, because it will affect the course outline and also the flow of my lesson plan. Mr. Kai, you have to understand that the course outline and lesson plan are fixed so that the lecturers are able to complete their syllabus in time. So they cannot just change however they like. If I were to disrupt the flow of my activity, I may not be able to finish this course. I don't want the other student to be affected as well by the action of just one student. If you submit this task date, I will have to deduct some of your marks as a result of late submission. Maybe I suggest another way is I suggest that we can use another way to replace this task. Uh, if it is possible, can I do some extra work to compensate the work I missed? Mm. Sorry, Mr. Caillou, this is not fair to you and also other in the class as well. Mr. Caillou, you have to remember this is your fault, which you didn't inform lecturer before you go back to Syria and we are here trying to help you try our best to help you and you have to understand the situation that you are in right now. The best solution would be a deduction of your marks as a result of flex submission. This will be fair to the others as well. And uh, this is not quite quite well to do but uh, can I please, I beg you, I do not want to deduct any marks, and I need to get A for this subject. Otherwise, my CGPA will be dropped and I will lose the sponsorship if I do not hit the target uh, CGPA. I need this A to maintain my CGPA. I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Kayu, but this is your fault for not making sure that you will not miss any classes when you go back to your country. Mr. Kayu, if you are worried about your CGPA, you can always retake this subject for the coming semester. In addition, this subject is offered every semester. You do not have to worry about extending the semester as there will surely be some semester where you have less credit hours so that you can take it in that semester. What do you think? Um, I think I think I have decided I'm going to drop this subject and I will retake it another time. Mm, okay. Yeah. So, and thank you for your time. Sorry for any inconvenience caused. Okay. Mr. Kayu, next time you have to ensure that you can attend a course and check with your lecturer before you register your course. You have to make sure your timetable yeah, sure. and also the course timetable is suitable for you and also for the lecturer as well. Sure, yes. no problem. Please do not rush to submit your registration form as we have given you plenty of time for pre-registration and also manual re registration. If there's any problem, you can always 
approach us or the lecturer beforehand. So make sure you check properly next time. Sure. Thank you for your advice, uh, Mr. Ham and Dr. Brian. I will keep it mind next time. So thank you very much on your assist. I think we have come to a conclusion here is that Mr. Kayu has decided to drop this subject for this semester and will consider taking it the next semester. Yes. So are you okay with that, Dr. Brian? Yep, I'm okay with it. <clears throat> okay, so my part, I'll help Mr. Kayu to delete this subject from your course. Yeah, sure. Do I need to come to the registration to do such things? Uh, uh, there's no need to. I have all your information right here, so I can just process it immediately. Thank you. Sure, sure. Later, I will send the contract to you. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much.